Ah, what a wonderful day to paint. The blue sky above us, green grass below us, people breathing in harmony while birds are chirping in melody. Thanks to our atmospheric layer for all this. Yes, little kitty. Unfortunately, our atmosphere doesn't get the credit it deserves. So, in today's episode, let me share with you and our lovely audience the consequences of losing our powerful shield by answering an important question. What if the Earth lost its atmosphere? Zoom in! The atmosphere is a layer of gas around the Earth that consists of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, water vapor and ozone, a highly reactive gas. Scientists divide the atmosphere into five regions or layers, namely troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. To know more about them, please check our video on the same topic. Though the atmosphere comes across as a mere gaseous layer around our planet, however, it does way more for us than meets the eye. Yes, some of its tasks include protecting our Earth from harmful radiations of the Sun, dealing with the approaching blazing asteroids, regulating the climate and even lighting up our days. So, it won't be wrong to say that life exists on Earth due to atmosphere. But the vital question is, what will happen if some cosmic event manages to wipe out our protective shield? Well, in that case, the first thing we will notice is complete silence. Yes, that's because sound waves are actually vibrations that travel through the air. And with no air particles available to act as a medium to bring these waves into our eardrums, as a result, we won't be able to hear a thing. At the same time, the sky will go completely dark like nighttime, despite the sun's presence. That's because the atmospheric layer is made of molecules of gases, water droplets, dust and dirt. So when light coming from the sun hits these objects, it scatters in different colors that travel in different directions, allowing us to see the blue sky and the gorgeous shades of sunrise and sunset. So, no atmosphere means no light on Earth. To know more about this, please check our video, Why is Space Black? And from here on, things are going to get worse for living beings as no atmosphere means there will be no oxygen. And with no oxygen, we won't be able to breathe. As a result, all vertebrates, including humans, won't be able to survive for long. Other land animals would follow within a few minutes and plants within a few hours. But there would still be oxygen dissolved in the water that was left. So sea life, marine organisms in particular, might survive longer. But eventually, the oxygen in water will run out as well. As a result, almost all marine animals won't be able to survive too. Slowly, the effect will start to take its toll on our Earth as well. As without an atmosphere to trap heat near the surface, the Earth's temperature will drop to minus 18 degrees Celsius. And with no atmospheric pressure, the boiling point of water will go down by 100 degrees Celsius, because of which all of the Earth's water will start to boil. But because of no atmospheric pressure, this water will eventually freeze. And who knows, with time, our planet would turn a lump of mud and stones like Mars, 
which lost most of its atmosphere some 4 billion years ago. So every day we should be thankful for our atmosphere to make life possible on earth. Trivia time. Did you know the atmosphere is home to an average of almost 40 trillion gallons or 150 trillion liters of water at one time? Yes, this is enough to drown the entire planet in an inch of rainwater. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. And done. Ah, uh, never mind.